Engage fluo injectors. Engaging fluo injectors. Fluo reactors at 80% sir. Fluo containment field is destabilizing. Emergency fluo containment protocols now. All hands brace for impact. Brace for impact in three, two, one. <laughs> Welcome to World 1-1 Podcast. Before we dig in, quick tease on the third half of the show this week, Michael and I are going to be demastering the entire MCU series into video game form, so make sure you stick around for that after the break. But right now, you should take a quick second, subscribe, and share this fucking podcast with all of your friends, and then you should uh, check out the show notes for the link where you can come jump into our Discord and come chat with us and have a good time. And a real quick shout-out to our sponsor, Imaginary Authors, helping you up your scent game. More about them right before the break. Choose your fighter! I am, as always, your host, Raul to the Wall. Joining me this week are my good friends, Josh the LeGru. Hey. And Kathy Lego Longneck. What's up? Tall neck. It was tall neck. Tall neck. The right there one. you go. Tall neck. Ah! <laughs> See, it's a series I haven't gotten to play yet. I knew oh, it's something neck, and I was in the neighborhood. You're you lucky were. I just didn't say robot giraffe and call it a day. And hey, I would have been what okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's it what is. It is. It's a fucking robot giraffe dinosaur. Get over. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Oh, well, speaking of things we haven't played, let's talk about things we have played because, oh my gosh, video games, Kathy, what have you been playing? Uh, (laughs) Well, only one game, (laughs) (laughs) the one and only Fortnite, as always, but that's because the OG map ended and last yesterday, as of this uh, recording yesterday, the uh, second was the big bang event, which was actually really disappointing. I thought they were going to do more, but we got a good preview of what is coming with the new season, and I tried to get on before this podcast so I could talk a little bit about it, but unfortunately, the queues are just incredibly long, so I was able to get into the screen to see what the battle pass was, but not able to actually get into the islands, but we do have some cool things coming up. They're actually creating some new game modes, so one of them is going to be a Lego world where you, it looks like you get to I do some building. I saw that. Oh, I'm hoping they make actual Lego sets to go with it, because then this will all become sure they, Fortnite I'm sure, Legos. I'm sure they will. It's got to be coming. Well, I, I want my Lego llama. I got to <laughs> have my Lego llama, and I hope they give a big one. But um, it was kind of hard to tell what we're going to be able to do in it, but it looked like there'd be some, obviously some building aspects. But I'm not sure if, there's, if it's going to be just like a Minecraft type world or if it's going to be um, right. like a battle royale. But that was one world. Then they're going to, and they're, and they're doing these different worlds separately. So that one comes out on the 7th. Then on the 8th, they're adding the Rocket League racetrack. So we are Ooh. getting cars and we get to race people. So not, and it's, I guess it's going to be like maybe a racing battle royale where you okay. get into the game and almost kind of like Mario Kart or any of these yeah. other racing games that you have. And you're going to have customizable cars um, as I was looking into the battle pass. Um, so not sure how that's going to work, but I'm sure it's going to be in the vein of Mario Kart, but it's based off of the Rocket League uh, vehicles. And then... Right, you're the... right, they're doing a build list mode? Oh, they've always had that. Zero build. Oh, is it there? Okay. Oh, yeah, that's been there since um, oh, almost a year now. So he shows you yeah. how much I'm involved. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't been around to keep you up to date. You know, I was your Fortnite. Right. You know, I get my yep, shit in the fringe. <laughs> And then the third world is actually going to be in the vein of, um, looks like, uh, rock band, Guitar Hero, where you get to do... <laughs> I this know, This feels I like know. a reach. They, they, now they're reaching. Because part of the, I got to actually try it, uh, you know, and obviously it was set up for my keyboard. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I was like, wait, wait, hold up, I got to actually play rock band here? <laughs> so it, it's feeling very much almost like a Roblox kind of thing where you have different game modes. Because if you also look, there's a lot of creative maps and um, different types of styles of games you can play. In addition to the um, original Battle Royales um, and the Zero Build Battle Royale. So we're adding different things, I think, to keep people coming back. 
So, okay. uh, but the rocket, the so like I said, the Lego World will start up on the seventh of December. The rocket one I think comes out the eighth, and then the um, I forget what they called the third one, but the rock band style esque will be on the ninth. So, okay. Um, but yeah, now, I are mean, these everything. just going to be short term runs, or are they going to be like ongoing? From what I understand, it's going to be ongoing, but I don't know for sure because, you know, uh, Fortnite Epic really keeps things kind of... I think they're going to see how it goes. Uh, the Lego may be short-term probably because of licensing and stuff. Yeah. Um, the Rocket League may be a little bit longer because they've ha been having a lot of co-op uh, cooperation with Rocket League. So yeah. it's, this is the yeah. first time it's been in there. This um, is this is one where they I if they're gonna do this they should take a cue from Rocket League because Rocket League kept adding modes, and it's not like hey this is a limited fun thing to fuck around with it's a no new mode part of the game just you have more shit, and I think that's kind of what we're seeing here. Um, but I mean, and I think you see it with the creators they're giving the creators a lot of freedom, and there's a whole bunch of different in the vein of Fortnite but. I mean, things have really expanded from the creator uh, creator made islands from the original. Um, during Halloween, I was playing horror games, and they were actually really kind of freaky. So, mm -hmm. um, and then you've got you know, if you really like the building tycoon type games, they've got a whole yeah. bunch of different tycoon games where you complete things, and um, they've got different um, game like just different game modes. It, it's it's interesting, and I'm kind of curious to see where this all goes. I'm hoping maybe after we record, I'll be able to get in and start playing some of it, but I'll keep you all posted. Oh, yeah. Uh, LeGru, what are you even playing? <clears throat> Not much, and I know, uh, I know I'm going to get some flack for this because I'm still on Alan Wake Remastered. <laughs> I have, uh, because of my no personal flack. life and family, apparently are coming down for Christmas now and staying the week before Christmas, you, all of a sudden, I and all of a sudden we are uh, aware they're staying here. So, oh, they're staying with you. Five. Yeah, people. I repeat, yes. you gross. Yep, and that's oh, okay. I'm so sorry. I no, it, it's Bill. okay because my mother-in-law and father-in-law live only a mile away, so they're basically okay. using our house as a hotel. My sister-in-law, who never asks for anything, I mean, she never talks to me hardly, but when she's with me, she does. But she actually texts me and said, "Hey, could we stay at your house?" Oh, I'm not going to say no. Nice. Yeah, oh, no. Um, that's fair. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I get it because she just had a baby nine months ago. And if like her and the baby want to come back and get out of the craziness, we're a very boisterous family. So I think that if she wants to come up and she's not that way. And so I think if she gets a little overwhelmed, she just wants to come back here. Quiet totally, spot. Really fine. Yeah. You know, and I, I'm not going to say no to her. So. I have been taking pretty much all my free time and just putting it towards getting my house set up and my game room set up for my other nephew too. So, um, where he can actually come in here and pick stuff out and play it. So nice. I've got that. I've got, like you can see the games back here, but I'm also, I've got all sorts of stuff going on back here. But so I've been spending a lot of my time with that. I'm still kind of puttering an Alan Wake remastered. I'm really close to finishing it. I, I'm on the. I'm gonna. Then I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna do all the DLC or not. I just might move <clears> on to Alan Wake Two again because I wanted that base. Right. Because after I started playing Alan Wake Two, I was like, I don't remember this, and I need to go back. I'm really glad I did though because there's a lot of stuff in Alan Wake Two that directly call back to Alan Wake, and I love those games. So I just want. I just want to enjoy the experience. So <laughs> that's what I've been doing. Nice. Okay. So let's see. I've been, I've been background spinning some usuals. I actually finished a run of uh, Zero Mission on on my Game Boy Micro, and it made me so goddamn happy. <laughs> um, it just it did. And then I actually I started uh, a new run of Fusion because uh, the Micro was with me while we were waiting in line for the concert last week on Thursday, which was nice to have to you know just fiddle around with something that isn't my fucking phone. Right. Um, but speaking of phone games, phone game, it's a phone game, but I'm not playing it on my phone. Um, Vampire Survivors is starting to sink its hooks back into me because I'm looking at this going, I want to check off more of the completion boxes now. 
So I've started doing like solo runs of fucking just about like every character in order, um, like one 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 stage at a time. Like I want to get I want to get a complete thirty minute run of starting with like the inlaid library with right. every character, and I like the library better than the 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 fucking first one. The library is my favorite to play the on. Library it's just, library is the best in my opinion. It's the most controlled. Yes. So, like, if the library was uh, fucking vertical instead of horizontal, and you could totally get get like the the mana song thing going with it too, that'd be awesome. You you could dominate. I guarantee you, that's the only reason they made the library horizontal is so that you couldn't just fucking wreck it with the mana song. Right. No, you're right. Uh, Kathy, when you when you get into this and you realize what what all that you're gonna be like, holy I know, I'm shit! Here like, what? I'm like, <laughs> right. I'm just sitting here. No, you're okay, gonna you're gonna. Good. I, I like Paul in the library, mm -hmm. uh, personally, with garlic, and uh, the holy whole, the. Uh, okay, this sounds so much like Clue. It is. It is. <laughs> yep. Ah. Paul in the library. Yeah, this character in the with library with the garlic. With the garlic. <laughs> I'm telling you that I that's the first stage that I actually made it to 30 minutes to where I got the Reaper and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to kill this guy. I Because you think he's unkillable. He's actually not. You just have to have the right build. Mm -hmm. right. I so, think I'll like it because those like are the type it. of games I like. It's very strategic. It is. And at the same time, you, you not. don't have to... <laughs> dial your focus in so intensely no. you you right. can play it very passively it, also uh. if you understand the guy that created it used to create slot machines you oh, will really? understand the gameplay loop i said okay. it a few weeks ago i can dig it back up and find it again but uh there was a youtube channel that had an interview with the guy that made it uh mm -hmm. and you know kind of like telling us it was really fucking cool but the neat thing is I want to call it the neat thing. The fucking golden part of this is, is that the guy that made Vampire Survivors didn't want to be filmed. So it was an audio only interview on a video platform. And so they made B-roll of him for like his talking parts in this interview for the, for the post that went up of him as a fucking Muppet. Oh. <laughs> and it's awesome. And it's not just like Muppets. No, no, no. It's whole, like, bits of him doing sh shit. <laughs> it nice. was so good. I will dig it up and I will find it for you. And I will... St okay. I think it'll, for the second time, be in the show notes again. <laughs> I'm good. pretty sure I put it in there the first time this conversation came up a few weeks <laughs> ago. But in any case, um, so that's, that's starting to get its hooks back into me. Um... Those have been kind of my fiddly games. I've also messed around with, uh, you know, a little more of the the last of the Mario Kart Booster Course DLC. Um, I, mm, it's hard not to be upset looking back at the whole thing. How many, like the the percentage of this pie? is the fucking city courses from tour. Mm -hmm. I'm just like... <sighs> the sad thing, <laughs> like, the the non-city courses from tour are fucking cool. They are. They're fucking cool. And they don't even tell you that those are from tour. Right. I'm like, the f just weird choices. Why? But then there was the one I was the most goddamn excited for, and man, I... It came out on a Tuesday, I think it was. And I was super fucking excited to go home, get home from work, fire this thing up, and have myself a good time. I've been looking forward to this for, like, several weeks. Because, one, I, I already had seen it, and I'm like, that looks fucking cool, I want to play that. But then, two, I found out a few weeks before release that at least part of the soundtrack was done by the Berlinist, who's the guy that did the entire soundtrack for Greece. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, fucking sold. Like, I went from, 
I want to play this when it comes out to. This is now pre-ordered, and I don't pre-order digital bullshit. I don't. No, you don't. Nope. So, um, th- this was like one of two games I have pre-ordered digitally. I think the other... Yeah, the only other one was uh, Chance of Sonar. Um, but in any case, so... Not a great day at work that day. And I, I get home, and I sit down... And I start playing it and I'm I feel like I'm forcing it. I'm just I'm something in my head is not clicking right. I'm not fucking getting what this game's laying down. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm just, shut it off, walk away. I'm like, I will come back to this when my head is in the right space. And then the next day I started thinking about it. I'm like, what kind of fucking headspace do I need to be in for this? Because I at least know what I'm walking into. I just wasn't gelling with it. I figured it out. And so the other day about five o'clock take a double dose of my uh of what my usual is so i i I take a whole ass fucking gummy i wait like two hours it's dark outside i am high as a fucking kite go upstairs turn off the lights it's dark outside turn up the volume just let myself zone into it This is one of the very few times I will say that being completely fucking stoned out of my mind was what got me there Mm. in order to like vibe with. And here's the weird thing. It, it was all I needed for the Rosetta stone. I'm like, okay, I get what I was fucking not getting before. Right. Right. Like, my, my brain was now at the capacity to receive what it was laying down, and now that I have it, I can go back and just fucking play it. Right. I'm like, I just, I needed, I needed somebody to open the door and let me do the fucking rest. But it's, it's got that, that dialogueless environmental storytelling thing that Grease does. It, it's it's got a lot of like general feel and vibes in common not not one to one like it's totally aped it but you can look at this and look at this and you'd be pretty certain that more than just the music guy worked on both of them right. i don't know how much overlap there is there but there's a real strong like feeling of one influence the other but not that it was aped just we like your style we like your okay. vibe and so we we have this kind of ethereal celestial metroidvania platformer thing going on here except it's an action game but it's turn based but it's not like pick your attack from the menu watch it do shit turn based it's you get your turn and you have x amount of time to do as much of you know whatever attacks you're going to fucking do and then the other guy gets his turn and you get like the cues to know whether he's going to hit you with like physical or magical attacks so that you can figure out which which type of block to use and it it leans real heavily into the don't just block it go for that perfect parry so that you can break their defense and sh- okay. the other fun part too is now you've got to balance this with like a little pokemon-esque element yeah, you can take them out, but if you can get them just close enough to that line, you can fucking absorb them and get their powers. Oh, okay. And you got to juggle it because the other thing too is the more you like fill up their absorb gauge, which is separate from their health, so you got to watch them both, but fucking separate too, and balance that out. Um, the more you fill up their absorb gauge, the easier it is to absorb them because if you only get it to the point where you have the option to, it gives you like the first two of a four button combo that you need to do. And the more you fill it up, the more that combo is revealed instead of you having to try and do guesswork. Oh, and I okay. hope that you got it right. I'm like, oh, you tricky bastards. <laughs> but it's really fucking cool. It's neat. It's pretty. It's, oh, like I said, wait for it to get dark out. Turn the lights off. Nice quiet room. Turn up the volume. Good pair of headphones. What? Get it really fucking cool it's just i felt really bad because michael a couple weeks back was saying he 
couldn't get into grind because it was so heavily focused and reliant on the whole parry mechanic and right. that's gonna be the same here because outside of that this would be like grime for him everything else here he would fucking love except playing it <laughs> i'm like i'm so sorry man i wanted this to be awesome for you too right so but that's that's games of the week for me um so before we hit the break a quick word about our awesome sponsor imaginary authors helping you up your scent game when you need to tell your story without ever saying a word and you want to turn every head in the room go check out imaginary authors because they've got fragrances for guys gals and non-binary pals you can check out their little samples they've even got uh sample packs already put together ready to go go check them out link in the description in the show notes down below and after that it's time for the break and we're back with the third half of the show. This week we're going down the warp pipe. Oh wow, love these pipes. <laughs> and we're taking a look at what happened to movie tie-in games. Missed opportunities, leaving money on the table, and D Masters. You ready for this shit? What do you mean, D Masters? All right, so we're talking about taking things and scaling them back into retro style games. Mm. So, the Mummy D Mastered, very retro, old school style game, modern production. So I'm I'm just wrapping that in one. I'm I'm gonna start with. Why in the fuck do we not have more D Masters for big established series? Like, why the hell don't I have an awesome 16-bit style God of War side scroll D Master hack and slash game? It actually exists. Does it? Yeah, there was a there was a cell phone game. There's was actually, it? Yeah, that's actually canon to the story. Hmm. Okay. Um, I never played it. Like, apparently it was clunky as shit. But, yeah, I never actually got a chance to check it out. Okay. Um, I've seen some artwork of, and it really just makes me wish that there was a D-Master, like, filter for Metroid Dread. Yeah. That would be fucking boss. But, you know, just sh just shit like that. You know, pick, pick a fucking big-budget action game and tell me you don't want a D-Master of it. You know, that's that's just leaving money on the fucking table. You split off a little side development team that that knows the game and knows the story, but loves their retro stuff, and let them have fucking fun with it. That's money on the table. Yeah. And now, well, now, the problem now, is like Iron Man killed movie tie-ins. Mm-hmm. Because it was apparently such a garbage game that, you know. Mm-hmm. Now, there were a few good ones, um, oh, I don't know, about 15, 20 years ago. The, uh, the last fucking Hulk game was a lot of fun. I remember one of the, the, the Wolverine ones was really mm -hmm. good. Yeah. You know, we're all looking forward to Logan whenever the hell that finally shows up. Yeah. You know. I actually really am looking forward to that one. Mm-hmm. Because this is Insomniac, and they've already proven what they can do with Spider-Man. Yeah. So I'm very anxious to see. And apparently the Wogan game is going to have a hard R rating. Mm -hmm. So now, now the, the next piece here is, you know, leaving money on the table. And this is where we're going to tie it all together. And you're going to love where this goes, man. Why the fuck have we not gotten awesome retro style d make games for all the fucking mcu movies yeah hear hear me out here because each one of them you could be playing a different you know genre a little bit you know you've you've got ones like ant-man that would be really cool for kind of almost like old school metal gear solid stealthy sneaky shit you've got you know fucking kung fu action ones like Shang-Chi 
you've got just awesome you know flying fighting uh iron man captain america would be a great fucking side-scrolling brawler and then when we get to the fucking avengers team-up movies we just need big fucking four-player co-op bring back you know the the arcade like x-men and avengers games castle crasher style brawlers and smash yeah. them all together why has this not happened this is money on the fucking table man the mcu is so godforsakenly big you're telling me they can't afford a small like retro dev studio that could fucking kill this shit like why have we not hired i don't know like way forward they'd have a great time with this kind of thing mm-hmm you know, you, you find somebody that's been killing it on that kind of thing. Um, oh, God, who else would be good for that shit? Uh, who the hell did The Mummy Demastered? I don't remember now. I have no idea. Who did mm-hmm. Castle Crashers? Oh, that's the behemoth. Yeah. Give it to them. In that My only style. thing with that... The art style is the only thing that hangs me up for trying to do this with MCU. MCU, this should be, like, gorgeous pixel art. Okay. That that silly hand drawn cartoon thing I think would do a disservice to doing an MCU movie unless we're talking maybe fucking Deadpool. Which you could be let amazing. Behemoth do Deadpool. Give me an X Men style game in that style. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I'm like, this is this is fucking brilliant. We could have had. 20 or 30 fucking awesome little MCU games to have a great time with. Just shove them out on digital distribution. You know, maybe every at the end of every phase you put out like a physical box set collection of that phase of fucking movie tie-in games. Yeah. Well, and it's already proven that Disney could wipe their ass and write Avengers on it and people are going to throw money at it. Yeah. You know, there's there's so much fucking fun to be had here. I just I, I don't understand how nobody else fucking came to this conclusion and thought we should fucking do this. I mean yeah. at this point, they could start doing it now, start back at the beginning of the fucking MCU and just work their way up. And I don't care if it's twenty years behind with whatever the current MCU movie shit is. I'll go back and start at the beginning of the fucking MCU playing those games and go yeah. through the whole MCU again like that. You know, you've got ones that would probably fit like the fucking Ninja Gaiden uh, template of, you know, 8-bit, 16-bit, 32-bit games. Shit, that's another thing too is, you know, maybe like every two phases you go from like 8-bit to 16-bit and then another two phases later 16-bit to Mm 32-bit so you can always be 20 years behind which is just the perfect nostalgia cycle yeah this is easy fucking money and I don't understand how this hasn't happened and Give give me an Avengers game like Scott Pilgrim exactly yeah yeah like, right you there. have a plethora of characters to choose from. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. fucking lutely You know? I, I'm sure, you know, one of them somewhere would fit a great fucking strategy game. Mm-hmm. You could absolutely do a little bit of everything. So, and it would all be under one big cohesive banner. It'd be yeah. awesome. Not to mention... Tell me how much you don't want, like, MCU soundtrack in chiptune. Oh, hell yeah. Uh-huh. This makes entirely too much sense now, doesn't it? Give me an 8-bit Captain Marvel movie game that's literally just Gradius. There you go. That works. Fuck yeah. it. Let's go. You know, um, let's, let's, let's see here. Let's let's pull up the fucking MCU and see if we can figure out what we equate what what each of these fucking equates to. See if we can uh, you know 
help things out. MC2 timeline. So we start with Iron Man. What are we doing with Iron Man? I'm feeling like maybe, um, maybe like old school NES RoboCop. It's a little clunky, kind of stiff. I'm thinking almost double dragon, just with it with projectiles. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Uh, Incredible Hulk. What do we got? What do you think? Oh, what was that? Rampage. Okay. Yeah. I mm, I can get behind this. Yeah. I I can see Rampage working for that. Iron Man 2, what are we doing? Hmm. Oh, what the fuck was that game called? What's it about? It's a joke. <laughs> Burger time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <coughs> oh. Well, this one you got two players, because this one you got both Rhodey and Iron Man. Yeah. Rhodey, so. so you could do okay. Double Dragon 2. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, what do we think for Thor? Gauntlets. Okay. Gauntlet. Shit, there was something in my head two seconds ago now, and it just blinked out of existence. Um, I don't know. It'll come to me one day. <laughs> Captain America, First Avenger. I'm saying right now that whole shield throwing thing would be great in like a fucking eight bit side scroll mechanic. You could have a lot of fucking fun with that. Yeah. Well, I was thinking almost contra. There you go. Like you got the shield throwing mechanic. You got melee mm -hmm. combat. Um, give me a, a a level every so often that's an overhead. Yeah. I'm here for that. And then after that, we're on the first Avengers, and we've got a, a big, you know, team up, beat em up. Mm hmm. Scott Pilgrim style. Mm hmm. Scott Pilgrim, fucking, uh, um, oh God, Simpsons, old school Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Who are the fucks doing the fucking Ninja Turtles games these days? That new one? Just, if you haven't played, by the way, is phenomenal. Yeah, it's on the list. Um,. But yeah, the the Shredder's Revenge stuff. Yeah, yeah. Get get whoever the fuck did that. We'll get them to do the Avengers games. I'm in. That's that's perfect. Iron Man three, I feel like needs to be a leaning definitely more into. Uh, oh God, almost Star Fox territory. There's a lot of flying around happening in that fucking movie. Yeah. There's a lot of aerial combat. We could do some really cool, awesome Star Fox shit. That's 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 almost more board, borderline dog fighting game with just ridiculous Iron Man stuff. Uh, Thor 2, Dark World. I think another gauntlet style one. Okay. Okay. Give it give it, the rest of the team is basically the rest of the uh his group. I can't remember what they're called right now. I, I could see that. Okay. How about Winter Soldier? That's our Metal Gear game right there. Yeah. That's all spy. That's all spy thriller. That is absolutely our Metal Gear game. I had to reset my brain for that one because I remembered at that point Winter Soldier was still the bad guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, how about Guardians of the Galaxy? Guardians, I could see Behemoth doing. Yeah. That, the Behemoth or, um, uh, oh, god damn it. Um, 
Who the fuck? Uh... Oh, shit. Who the hell did the... Uh, the Jack Black game, Brutal Legend? Because they did some other ones. Uh, that Double Fine. Double Fine. Let's get Double Fine to do Guardians of the Galaxy. Acceptable. <laughs> All right. Age of Ultron. Another... Uh... Another collaboration with everybody. Yeah. And then we're going to close out phase two with Ant-Man. Minish Cap. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. I like like this. Size puzzles. Yeah. Puzzle games. Size puzzles. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, obviously you'd have to rework it, but it's almost like a carrion. Nah, like the fact that you had to keep changing your size to do the different puzzles. Yeah. Who the fuck did Carrion? Uh, Devolver. Okay. All right. We'll just we'll we'll dial up Devolver. Tell him get on Ant Man. All right. Here comes a complicated one: Civil War. Another ensemble cast. I would do another Scott That's an Pilgrim ensemble style. Versus ensemble, though. Here's the thing: I would do another Civil War style where you choose which side you want to play as. You okay. got two storylines. I, I feel like maybe Civil War could be one of those where we get into maybe some real time strategy, but with more of a hero model instead of ar- like giant armies. Yeah. So. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Mm-hmm. So maybe maybe almost borderline act razor where you've got some some action mixed with some some kind of uh, city building RTS stuff. You, you just swap the city building for like RTS, but you still got the the side scroll action beat 'em up stuff. Mm-hmm. So, or you can do a pixel art style version almost make it look like children of morda okay but um do the real time strategy combat thing from brutal legend there there we go i'm i, I like this i want this game all right Doctor by the way Strange. children of morda was fucking phenomenal i dabbled it's been a while i bought I it on a whim and it took me a while to actually sit down with it but once i did i was hooked Mm-hmm. Doctor Strange, what do we think? Silver Surfer style. Hmm. See, I feel like there's more like dimension reality bending puzzles in combat that would be really cool, and I'm trying to think of what's a good good thing to go about this with. Um What about an on rail shooter? That's coming up next, sort of. Okay. I, I got you for this one. You're you're gonna you're gonna dig the next one. But Doctor Doctor Strange. Um, I don't know. I just I. I mm, mm. Nope. I've got it. We're mm. doing some fucking Castlevania shit, but we're specifically gonna be talking like. Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow where you can actually draw the uh, the spell forms and the seals. Okay. That feels appropriate. Yeah. So, alright. Now I told you I got you covered on this. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Here's where we deviate. We do a rhythm-based combat on Rails game. Just lean into the soundtrack, man. Yes, Chip absolutely. Chip the shit out of it. Lean into this rhythm-based fucking side-scroll combat. So. Spider-Man Homecoming. Here's, here's what I'm thinking. If we can get whoever did the fucking Bionic Commando... Uh, retro remake thing from the 360 get him to get him to kind of you know d- 
declunkify that, make it feel more fluid and fun. We've got a great swing mechanic. Just lean into that shit. Let them have it. Yeah. We're there. All right. Now, you ready for a real good fucking time? Mm. Ragnarok. We've got. Oh, I'm almost thinking another. Uh, Loki, Valkyrie. As I said, I'm almost thinking another uh, of the Gauntlet types. Like that, gaunt the Gauntlet types of game has definitely fallen by the wayside over the years. But like something like this could be really fun with something like that. Here's what I'm, I'm thinking talking, though. Huh? I'm thinking though we got to get the Psychonauts crew on it. Let them go with the full trip, acid trip, psychedelic vibe. Yeah. Lean into it. Just lighten it up. Take a little bit of the dark out of it. Go full fucking seventies acid trip. Mm -hmm. And go have a great time with Ragnarok. So, and I, I almost think there is maybe where we revisit the rampage stuff where we're just taking down, you know, giant city at the end with big fucking monsters beating the hell out of each other. Mm hmm. This could be a good time. All right. Here's going to be a fun one. Black Panther. The dishwasher. Oh. Oh. You made my heart so happy. Why? Why did that series get left in the fucking dust? Bring that back, please. Please. I need some fresh dishwasher. Like, my God, bring me some more dishwasher. Just, oh. All that black and purple and fucking neon shit. And, oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, here's our next big one, Infinity War. Why don't we go with with Infinity War? Why don't we go with every other every stage is something di completely different? All right. So in that case, we're just gonna uh, go get the dudes that did the fucking Bit Trip series because that's what they did for that whole fucking series. Mm -hmm. Every game was a different fucking genre. Like as I said, like one stage would be Contra, the next stage would be a beat 'em up, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm here for it. All right. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Two-player Minish Cap. Okay. Or what you, was the was Zelda You could game almost had, get into borderline portal territory with that. A little bit, but what was the Zelda game that had the uh, the four links? Oh, Four Swords. Yeah, like something like yeah. that. No, that'd be awesome. That'd be fucking bomb. All right. Captain Marvel. I said, with that one, I'm definitely thinking uh, Life Force. Life Force, Ikaruga, Xavius. Yeah. Pick it, you know. Um, all right. End game. Endgame feels like choice for real-time strategy. That has such a massive battlefield of combatants. Yeah. So, or a card uh, battler. I don't know. My, my brain goes to... Um, oh, God damn it. Uh... Why am I playing? Where's Dylan when you need him? This is his genre. Um, Dylan, get in here. Uh, oh, God damn it. Uh, Age of Empires. Yeah. I think that's where, that's where that would land. And then we finish off 
phase three with Spider-Man Far From Home. I'm trying to remember what happened in Far From Home. Oh, that's the one where he went on the fucking school trip overseas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With Mysterio. I don't know how you could do it, but something that really incorporates the the illusion aspect. You don't know what's real and what's not. Like, I like this. If you could figure out a way, like, you remember the game Minecraft? Not Minecraft. Yeah. Uh, Minecraft. Minesweeper. Minesweeper. Yeah. Like something like that, but I, I don't know how you would translate that. Okay. Something where, as I said, you really got to pay attention to figure out what you're doing, whether or not it's real or not. Okay. Who do we think we put on this? Let's let's see if we can nail this down to a studio. Who would kill it? Who did Control? Oh, isn't that Remedy? Fuck if I know. I think that's Remedy. Now where the fuck's LeGru when you need him? <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's that's Remedy, because uh, they did Control and the Alan Wake games. Mm. So they, they've got a pedigree for that. Mm -hmm. All right. We're into the multiverse saga, phase four. Here's a tough one, Black Widow. Metal Gear Solid. Okay. Yeah, I like we can Black go back Widow to that. straight up Metal Gear. We can go back to that. We'll just get Konami to finally make a game again. <laughs> so. Uh, let's see. Shang-Chi, The Legend of the Ten Rings. That one's straight up gotta be a beat-em-up. Oh, absolutely. That... We, we gotta go back to, like, fucking Kung Fu on the NES. Kung Fu or D Double Dragon or... Mm-hmm. Double Dragon's yeah. a good fit there. Absolutely. Yeah. So, and Lord knows there's some really cool fucking two-player shit you could do with that all the way throughout. Yes. So, get some fucking giant dragon fight at the end. Has, yes, please. Uh, all right. Th this could be a tougher one, but... Eternals is next. I wasn't a big fan of the Eternals. Well, you and I were talking about it, and we already figured out the problem with Eternals. We needed to flop the Eternals in Moon Knight. Yeah. Eternals needed to be a series, and Moon Knight needed to be a movie. In that case, let's do the Eternals like uh, a Telltale Games. I was just thinking this, too, actually. I'm glad you and I are on the same fucking page here. We'll get Telltale. We'll get him to do some fucking retro style shit. I'm here for it. Uh, solve. Spider Man, No Way Home. What happened in No Way Home? I don't remember. Uh, no Way Home was all the Spider Mans come together. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're erasing Peter Parker from everyone's memory gotta fix all the other bad guys right before they die I think another Scott Pilgrim multiplayer I'm thinking something that leans more into the acrobatics though Scott Pilgrim that that kind of multiplayer is always so ground gamey mm -hmm. you've got three Spider-Mans fucking swinging around something platformy then there you go now we're closer um you know what, let's get the guys that did Flint Hook and put them on a fucking multiplayer game. That feels right, because that was real grapple heavy. That was the whole crux of it, was fucking grapple. So, get them together, maybe mash them together with the guys that did Dandara. Okay, I can see it. It's got that weird kind of flow. That, that can be... Plus, Plus Dandara just, has that whole trippy thing going on. Yeah, just watching Dandara with multiple player characters on the screen would be Dandara, interesting. The, the Dandara crew is who we need to do fucking uh, Doctor Strange. 
Yeah. There we go. We're 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 gonna change Doctor Strange and get the Dandara crew on that. And then we'll get uh uh oh god damn it, we'll get the Flint Hook guys on uh, No Way Home. Yeah. This is coming together nicely. Mm-hmm. I like this. Alright. Uh Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. <sighs> I don't know, something that incorporates multiple different versions of the character. Like, I want a chance to play as Zombie Strange. Oh, God, yes. <clears throat> and my... I don't care who does it or what it is, so long as the America character is still completely forgettable. <laughs> <laughs> you know she's coming back for whatever the hell they're doing with... Uh... <clears throat> with the the fucking Kang Dynasty secret war shit though she's Possibly. the dimension hopper yeah but that's the thing they <clears throat> they banked so much on that character and did fuck all with her I think she's I think they just did that to set her up for showing back up and being a bigger crux and coming back now with a, with a handle on her ability and controlling it which will give them the leg up they need. But that's neither here nor there. That's speculative. Mm-hmm. So, Multiverse of Madness. What are we doing? <sighs> Horror game. Ooh. What was that what was that one that disappeared for a while? The PT or whatever? Yeah, the Something like that. Something Silent Hillish? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I, I'm okay with this. All right. Here's a device one. Thor: Love and Thunder. <laughs> All right. Get the guys who made uh, on the Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie DVD the Go Right game. Get those guys <laughs> to do it. Love and Thunder was boring. I had a lot of fun with Love and Thunder. My, like, it wasn't a bad movie by any means, but coming off the 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 tale of what was the other one, the Ragnarok? Yeah. Like, no, no, that's a big that's a big set of shoes to fill. It and is. And they didn't do it. Gore had so much potential. Especially since the fact that it's kind of setting up null, like we, we discussed earlier. Mm-hmm. Because null made all black. Yeah. So. Hmm. Make this the card battler. Okay. I'm okay with this. You can do some neat stuff with that if you do it right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. What are we up to next? Uh, Wakanda Forever. <clears throat> Wakanda Forever definitely feels like we're getting back into, like, RTS territory again. Because that was a big, like, event. So, more than it was a, a solo character film. Oh, what was that fucking game called? The Final Fantasy RTS. Not Crystal Chronicles. Oh. Let's see. Let's see here. Uh, Final Fantasy. Somebody is listening to this screaming into their fucking headphones going, you idiot. Uh, Final Fantasy real-time strategy. I mean, there was Final Fantasy Tactics, but that wasn't yeah. RTS. That was turn-based, but yeah, I could see it. Tactics would be a good way to go. That that could totally work. We could just do a... Uh, I, can, I can make that work. Um, Alright. We're closing in on the ass end here. Uh, Ant- 
Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. Two D Portal. Okay. Okay. With Minish Cat mashed in. I'm game. No. I'm game. Uh, let's see. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Save the animals. Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? There's fucking banging music. We're saving the animals from the fucking lunatic. Yeah, no. That, that fucking works. I'm okay with this. That works. I, yeah, I don't know, man. Like... I, I just don't have anything better. I don't have a problem with it. I think it totally I hate works. Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I hate the Sonic the Hedgehog games. Their gameplay is ugh, I can't do it. Oh, I don't know. I think it works for me. And that that brings us to current because the next one hasn't dropped yet, which is the Marvels. So, we have officially demastered the entirety of the MCU. Where's my paycheck? I want to say royalty check, please. <laughs> so, we're going to get a we... cease and desist letter. <laughs> no, somebody would have to listen to this first. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe in a couple of years we'll revisit this when we've got another ten years of MCU movies to figure mm-hmm. out again. So, but this right, would be a I'm, good I'm, one to do with a group. It would. It would. So, who knows? Maybe when when we've got the full ensemble again, we'll uh, we'll revisit this for shits and giggles. We'll just take notes and be like, "Here's what we came up with. What do you have?" Yeah. So. All right. Well, I think that's a good place to fucking wrap this bitch up. We've been going entirely too long. Uh, Say thank you to everyone that tuned in and listened and joined us this week. Make sure you hit subscribe so you get uh, fresh, new, free episodes in your feed every fucking week. Thank you to my partner in crime, Michael, for coming and hanging out with me and having some fun this week. And uh, we'll see you all back here next week on the World 1-1 podcast. Press start to engage your mind. Say goodnight, everybody. Bye. Peace.